everyone, welcome to Fry Diary. As I've said before, a concept I totally nicked from Grace Helbig. So it's a look back at my week in vlog form. I don't do enough interesting things in a day to do daily vlogs. Obviously Christmas, I did do Vlogmas and tried to make it as interesting as possible. Anyway, the first thing that I did in the last seven or eight days was I went with my dad to a place called Claremont. And because it's spring, the wildlife, the wild fowl, are doing lots of flying around and we saw the black swan there as well. Then on Saturday evening we went to a party and it is just a little bit kind of uncomfortable that the fact that our friends are now having their 60th birthday parties, <laughs> our contemporaries. And what he'd done is he had done a charity gig for his party and there were some really good musical acts but people at the table we were sitting at were talking all the way through it. of pop songs. So we had Wrecking Ball, done in folk, ska, punk, I don't know. I don't know what this style is called. Let me know in the comments below what you think it is. is quite fun. It is when Louis came with me and my dad to Painsville Park, uh, but I'm sure you've all watched Louis's utterly, fantastically amazing vlog of that, and he's got much better footage than I have. But I did get some bits and pieces. with the men in my family that keep walking into my shot. You walked into my shot again. Louis explained that when we were buying the tickets it was one of his old teachers but what he didn't explain was that uh, she was really emotional when she saw him and she said she'd just been talking about him the day before with another ex-teacher and she had been talking about how 
his artwork was always phenomenal and how there was this one piece of religious artwork and then she said is it all right to say this <laughs> she said it was like a cartoon version of the last supper and then jesus had a speech bubble coming out of it going hick hick so as we said in our q a video no we're not religious <laughs> that would be quite irreligious right it's tuesday morning and i am off for a run i'm going to try and do 5k and i'm going to see if i can improve my time tiring <laughs> and I didn't really improve my time but that's probably because I was setting the camera up and then running back and then running again and it actually added to the distance <laughs> so this is my normal run and the last time I did it I did it in uh, 40 minutes 48 seconds and it's 3.21 miles and this time 42 minutes 36 seconds 3.24 miles I'll convert that to kilometres for you. I think it's just over 5k. Yep, there we are. 3.24 miles is 5.214275 kilometres. Hey everybody, it's Wednesday morning and I'm in a rush because I'm late. Me and my dad are heading south. My dad's going to go and visit his friend Tom and I'm going to meet up with Debbie. That's the usual routine when I get a chance to meet up with Debbie. For those of you that are new to my channel, Debbie is my closest friend and we've been closest friends since we were 14 or 15 and I've done a best friend tag with her so I'll link that here. I've dropped my dad off in Beach and now I'm heading for Chawton to meet up with Debbie. Chawton is where there's one of the houses that Jane Austen lived in. It's a kind of historic place that you can have a look. But here, in this place, there's all these really cool thatched cottages. Debbie just called to say that she's going to be 10 minutes late or so, but I don't mind waiting here in this beautiful place. There's a lovely green here with all these Daffodils. And that's Jane Austen's house over there. Can't see it from that parked car. And there's also like another thatched cottage there. Another thatched cottage there. Beautiful English countryside. Hello, Mabel, Bessie, and Edith. <laughs> so here we are in Chilton, and you've got to turn. Oh talk to my audience hi because <laughs> I've got like loads of new people that have come to my channel and I've already said go and have a look at our best friend tag. oh yeah <laughs> we did that here in Chilton yeah we did we? we did and we just had a nice lunch at the pub the chilli chilli baked potato didn't we mm, the sour cream and now we've come for a walk but we've decided it's a bit too cold yeah, it's really cold and I'm wearing sunglasses really cool <laughs> but these sheep are good look come on you're gonna go and talk to me no, far more important things to do. These tulips are doing really well, aren't they? I've had them for a week now. The guys that came to do the podcast thing with Louis brought them. Still going strong. I have been working all morning on doing publicity stuff for this gig at the theatre. Those of you who've been watching me for a while will know that in December uh, I went and had a meeting at the Leatherhead Theatre. I had been helping my friend run a jazz jam and then they cancelled it and I think it's because they were renewing their lease and we had it as a free event uh, but there's nothing stopping us charging at the door so I went and had a discussion and renegotiated it. I've only finally heard back from them though, I sent a proposal through in January taken two months. <laughs> it's 
So, making plans for that, we've got three dates, so it's going to be a three month kind of trial with charging on the door. But now, having been sitting at a computer all morning, I am going to do a workout. So, I'm going to try and keep up this pattern of working out three times a week. Boot camp on Saturday, a run on a Tuesday, and my workout that I do at home with weights on a Thursday. So I've got all changed, I was just about to move the furniture out of the way and then I got a text from Darcy saying she's on the train, needs picking up from the station. So the love of a mother. Hopefully she has stuff that she's going to get on with and I can do my workout when we get back from the station. <laughs> There we go guys, that's a look back at my week. It is now Saturday morning and I am au naturel. <laughs> um, this is what it looks like without my contact lenses in. I've still got my body pyjamas on and I am going to boot camp this morning. I didn't get the vlog finished uh, yesterday, didn't get it all edited. So uh, now, you know, it's like, oh, there'll be only one day between uploading it on Friday and the video coming out on Sunday so maybe I'll upload Sunday's video on Monday and that will be part two of the 57 things that I've learnt in my 57 years and it's actually my birthday on Monday anyway so it's appropriate. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know below whether you like these um, vloggy things, these daily vlog things compacted into a week or whether you'd rather I stuck to the talky videos <laughs> or a mixture. I do like keeping a record of uh, trips and days out and that kind of thing, but I'm not sure that a kind of overview of the week is that interesting for you. Uh, so let me know below. All right then, see you next time. to the white balance or colour balance or something. I just accidentally knocked something on the screen so I'll have to have a play around with that as well. <laughs>